Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video I will show you how to create a page within iSpring Learn. Here you can see I have various chapters within my page or in my document and as soon as I complete the chapters my completion progress increase. Okay, so I currently have one, two, three, four, five chapters within my document and the students can go through each of these um, sequentially and I'll show you how to set this up. You can even use this on your mobile devices. It will resize automatically to your particular device. A really a neat feature within iSpring Learn and I'm really excited to show you this. So let me show you how this is done. So let's click on learning content. Once here, let's click on create. And then let's click on page. Okay, so this is similar to a web page on the internet or a blog post where you can type, add text, add images, add videos, etc. You'll see in your left pane, there are various chapters that you can create for your students so that it isn't one long document for them to follow, but they can follow it sequentially. You can add a cover image to your page. But first, let's start by adding a title for our page and I'll call this computer security. I'll press enter on my keyboard. Just below the title, I can now start typing. So I click and immediately you'll see there's a plus icon appearing. I can click on the plus and you'll see I can add text. Header one, header two, a quote, call out, bulleted list, ordered list, images, video, embedded content, attachments, or an exercise. So let's start by adding text. So I'll click on text. And now I'll copy and paste text from a document. So you'll see it's very easy to copy and paste from another document. And this will be my introduction here. Okay. Uh, and I'll have a nice image also. So I'll click on the plus again. Select image. So I'll select one of my images and click on open. And that will add my image here. Now that your image is added, you can hover over your image and you can click and drag these three lines to the top and it will move accordingly. So I'll have my image here, my title and then my image and then my text. If you want to add more than one image, click on the plus here and you'll see immediately there's an image placeholder. Click on it and now you can select another image from your computer and it will add that image. Okay, so this is enough for my introduction. I can now click on the plus to add another chapter and I'll call this chapter Internet. Press enter on my keyboard and now again I will copy and paste some text below the Internet text I want to add some embedded content. Okay, so I'll click just below the text, click on the plus and search for my embedded. So I'll click on embedded. Now I can copy and paste the embedded code here. And immediately you'll see it populates uh, that YouTube video. Okay, through the embedded code. You can also provide a caption here, but I'll leave it for now. If you want to preview this, you can click on next to publish. There's a play button. You can click on it and it will show you what the students will see. Here you can see there's my introduction on computer security. If I scroll down, the students can read the text. I click on continue 
and then they see my next chapter on the internet as well as the video. Okay. I can close this and it will take me back to my page. Okay. So let's add another chapter by clicking on plus and this chapter I'll call passwords. Press enter on my keyboard. Now I can add some text here. So again, I'll copy and paste some text there. Just below the text, I will click on the plus. And now I want to add an exercise here. Okay, so if I click on exercise, it will provide me with uh, questions where I can add questions and options. It's basically a multiple choice um, kind of quiz but it's not graded. This is just for uh, practice purposes. So I'll ask the question here. What is an insecure password? Okay, my first choice here. Date of birth. To my ID number, number three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number four, zero, 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 zero. So I'm asking the question, what is an insecure password? So they need to choose one of these here. Yeah? I can provide feedback here. Yeah? I can also add some feedback for the incorrect answer. So let's do this. Well done. And here we'll state, please try again. Okay. I can even add an image to my question by clicking on the image icon and clicking on upload or add a video or add an image URL. I can also go into the settings. Yeah, I can se select either to shuffle my questions or to show the correct answer. I'll choose shuffle my questions as well. I go back. If I'm happy, I click on done. And this will add the knowledge check to my document here. Okay, so let's create another chapter. I'll call this chapter sensitive data press enter on my keyboard and now i can copy and paste some text just underneath my heading just underneath the text i want to add a video so i'll click underneath the text and my plus icon appears i'll click on that and now i select video i now paste my youtube url there and immediately it shows my video I'm happy with this now. I'll add another chapter. I will call this chapter email and attachments. Okay. I'll write something there by copying. I'll copy and paste my text in here. I'll add some ordered list items. Number one is my emails and number two will be my attachments. I also want to add a bulleted list uh, just below the numbering. So I'll click on my plus, select bulleted list and my first bulleted list will be my email attachments. Press enter. The second one will be communication. And I'll leave it as is. And now I need to add an image as well. So I'll select image, select an image from my computer. So let's select that one, click on open. And it will add that image to my page. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five chapters within my document or in my page. 
and I'm really happy with this. Okay. If I'm happy, I'll click on Publish. And this will publish my page and make it available for my students. Okay. I can go back to the learning content or I can manage the content. Under my General tab, I can provide a title for my page. So I'll call this Computers for All. I can provide a description. I can add some tags. So let's call this computers. Press enter. Then web page. Press enter. Okay, that's fine for now. I can change my thumbnail and I can change my cover image. Click on save. Also, from here I can view my page by clicking on view and it will take me to my page that I've just set up. I can go through my chapters and it will provide me with a completion progress at the top. If I'm done, I can close this. I can even edit this by clicking on edit. And it will take me back in the editing view. So let's go back. Under my notifications tab, I can set notifications upon enrollment. I can also notify users when the due date is approaching by clicking on the plus and specifying the days to notify the students. I'll leave this for now. I can also add a completion notification for admins when the students completed the page. Click on save. Under the availability tab, this is basically where I set automatic enrollment rules by clicking on the plus and specifying um, which enrollment rules should be applied. Okay, I'll leave this for now. You can also check this for to allow users to self-enroll and I can specify a default enrollment uh, due date. Click on save. Under completion, I have my course certificate and I have my gamification features. Under enrollments, I won't cover this now because I have a separate video on enrollments. Once I'm done, I can go back and now you'll see my page appears here within my projects folder. So once you're done, you'll see next to your name, there's a gear icon. You can click on that icon. Here you can set some rules or some navigation features. Okay, currently it's set to free. So the learners can choose any chapter to read or browse through and engage with it. But I like to choose restricted. So that way they go by chapter. So they first finish chapter one, then chapter two, then chapter three. I can also include chapter numbering, which is enabled. I can also set the button to move to the next chapter and that is enabled. I can also disable text selection and copying. Okay. And I've disabled this. If I click on theme, yeah, I can customize my theme, the look and the feel of the page. Okay. I can select a custom color or I can leave it on green, red, orange, whatever color I want. And I can change my font size for my heading as well as my body text. All of these I can change. I can click on save changes and my document will be automatically updated. I can also export this page and use it on another platform. If for some reason I want to change the ordering, I can hover over the chapter, click on the ellipses. I can duplicate the page. I can move it up. I can move it down or I can remove it completely. And this is how easy it is to set up a page within iSpring Learn.